to your video on multiplying and factoring polynomials. Um, you have two I can statements. The first is that you will be able to multiply by a polynomial and then you will be able to factor a monomial from a polynomial. The first question is how do I multiply a monomial by a polynomial? Uh, and we have the first example here for you. Um, what you want to think of is um, the distributive property. You're distributing that out to each of them. Um, the picture model, it, um, I, like, I call it the box method. I think it works really nicely. Um, so here I have an x and I have an x and that makes up my 2x. And then here I have an x, an x, an x. I need to make my box a little bit bigger. And then a 1. And that makes up my 3x plus 1. And then I just divide these all up into their sections. And I multiply out x times x is x squared. That's going to be an x squared. That is, these are all going to be x squared. And then I have 1 times x, which is just x. And then I have x I'll make that a different color. And then x times 1 is just x. Um, and then you count up what you have. I have 6 x squared plus I have 2 x's. And that's my answer. Next problem here. Um, you again can use what I call the box method. It's really distributing using the distributive property. Um, you have negative x to the third power, and then you have all these other ones filling out the other side. So 9x to the fourth power is 1, negative 2x to the third is 1, and then we have 7. Um, and now you chunk it. So you have your negative x cubed times your 9x to the fourth, and that's where your exponential rules come into play. Um, and so I now have negative 9x to the seventh. Um, same thing, negative x to the third times negative 2x cubed is going to give me positive 2x to the sixth power, and then negative 3x cubed times 7 is just going to give me negative 7x cubed. Um, and then just obviously combining like terms if there are any. In this case, there's not. Um, and then writing it in the proper order. Your turn. Please show your work um, using the box method, that distributive property. Go ahead and solve this problem. And then check in with me when you're done. Answer shown in green is what you should have had. Um, if you did not, either figure out what happened or bring your answers to class. Questions to class, I mean. All right, how do I find the greatest common factor? In order to factor out a polynomial, which is what we, our end goal is, um, you have to be able to know how to multiply them, which we just did, and then also to find the greatest common factor. Um, so here I have 5x cubed plus 25x squared plus 45x, and then I want to know what all the factors are of these. So what I'm going to do is just kind of list them out individually by unit. So we have these three terms. And then you're just going to expand them out. So 5x to the third is 5 times x times x times x. 25x squared would be smallest factors um, would be 5 and five, 5 times 5 and then x times x. 45 would be, or sorry, not the largest factors. I said largest, it should be smallest. Um, and then 45 would be 3 times 3 times 5 times x. Now that you've listed those out, some of you might be familiar with making a factor tree. Um, that would be the same thing. You could do it the same way. Um, you're going to end up with these factors. And the greatest common factor is the biggest number and variable, or either or, um, 
that they all have in common. Um, so numbers you've done before where they all have the same number, um, they can also have the same variable. So in this case, the GCF is 5x um, because that's what works in all three terms. Your term, please tell me what the greatest common factor is for this polynomial. 3x is your greatest common factor. All right, how do I factor out a monomial? This is the big exciting part now. Uh, we have the first step is to factor the polynomial um, for each term as itself, so the monomials. Um, so I have 4x to the fifth negative 24x cubed, and then 8x. And you're going to find the GCF. Um, so this one would be 2 times 2 times x times x times x times x times x. Um, this one factored would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times x times x. Um, and you don't have to worry about the negative right now. Um, I can leave that off for the factoring part. Um, and then 8x would just be 2 times 2 times 2 times x. Um, what do they all have in common? Well, they all have a two, two twos and an x. So 2 times 2 times x, which is actually just 4x, um, is the GCF. And now, and that's not new information. You've learned how to do that. Um, so now that you know what the GCF is, you can factor that out from each term. So I have um, 4x to the fifth power. So I'm going to use this color. And if I take away 4 and an x, I'm just left with x to the fourth power because I'm taking away the 4x. Um, that goes on the outside of your parentheses. Um, and then when I take out a 4, so I'm dividing by 4, so 24 divided by 4 is going to give me 6. Don't forget your negative. Um, and then if I take away an x from x cubed, I now have x squared. And then the last one, I have 8x. If I take out a 4x, I just have 2 left. Um, and that is how I would write out my factored polynomial. So the factored form is exactly this, what I have in blue. Your turn. Please give me the factored form of this problem. So you're going to have to find the GCF first and then factor that out from each term. So all the work, please. All right, you should have gotten the greatest common factor to be 3x squared, and then the answer is in green for you. Um, if you did not come to that conclusion, either figure it out on your own or ask in class. This is the end of your video. Thank you for watching. Keep being awesome.